Loren Powell Jobs is an American billionaire heiress, businesswoman, executive and the founder of Emerson Collective, an organization that, among other investing and philanthropic activities, advocates for policies concerning education reform, social redistribution and environmental conservation, and a major donor to the Democratic Party candidates including Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. She is also co-founder and president of the board of College Track, which prepares disadvantaged high school students for college. Powell Jobs resides in Palo Alto, California, with her three children. She is the widow of Steve Jobs, co-founder and former CEO of Apple Inc., as well as the heiress of his considerable fortune. She manages the Loren Powell Jobs Trust. Chapter 1 – Early Life and Career Powell Jobs grew up in West Milford, New Jersey. She earned a BA in Political Science from the University of Pennsylvania School of Arts and Sciences and a BS degree in Economics from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania in 1985. She received her MBA degree from the Stanford Graduate School of Business in 1991. In October 1989, Steve Jobs gave a view from the top lecture at Stanford Business School. Loren Powell was a new MBA student and snuck to the front of the lecture and started up a conversation with Jobs, who was seated next to her. They ended up having dinner together that night. A year and a half later, on March 18, 1991, they married in a ceremony at the Awani Hotel in Yosemite National Park. Presiding over the wedding was Kobun Chino Otagawa, a Zen Buddhist monk. Their son, Reed, was born in September 1991, followed by daughters Erin in 1995 and Eve in 1998. Lorena is also the stepmother of Lisa Brennan Jobs, Steve's daughter from a previous relationship, who was born in 1978. Powell Jobs co-founded Terravera, a natural foods company that sold to retailers throughout Northern California. She also served on the board of directors of Achiever, which created online tools to help students study more effectively at standardized testing. Before business school, Powell Jobs worked for Merrill Lynch Asset Management and spent three years at Goldman Sachs as a fixed income trading strategist. On October 3, 2017, reports indicated Powell Jobs had purchased a stake in the ownership group Monumental Sports and Entertainment that includes the NBA's Washington Wizards, NHL's Washington Capitals, and Capital One Arena. Her approximately 20% stake makes her the second largest shareholder behind Chairman Ted Leonsis. Chapter 2 – Steve Jobs' Death On October 5, 2011, at the age of 56, Steve Jobs, the CEO of Apple, died due to complications from a relapse of his previously treated islet cell neuroendocrine pancreatic cancer. Powell Jobs inherited the Stephen P. Jobs Trust, which as of May 2013 had a 7.3% stake in the Walt Disney Company worth approximately $11.1 billion, and 38.5 million shares of Apple Inc. As of July 2020, Powell Jobs and her family were ranked 59th in the Forbes annual list of the world's billionaires and 30th in Forbes 400. According to the same list, she is the wealthiest woman in the technology industry. Chapter 3 – Activism In 2004, Powell Jobs founded the Emerson Collective, a private company structured as a limited liability company, that supports social entrepreneurs and organizations working in education and immigration reform, social justice, media, and journalism and conservation through partnerships, grants, and investments. Through Emerson, Powell Jobs owns the Atlantic and a stake in Axios. In the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Powell Jobs donated $2 million to Hillary Clinton and raised a further $4 million for her. In 2017, she backed the founding of the political organization acronym, which raised ethical questions for Powell Jobs for its creation of Korea Newsroom. In the 2020 U.S. presidential primaries, Powell Jobs donated to the campaigns of Democratic candidates Amy Klobuchar, Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, and Michael Bennett. After Joe Biden became the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee, she went on to donate over $600,000 to his campaign. 
Chapter 4, Philanthropy In 1997, Powell Jobs and Carlos Watson co-founded College Track, a non-profit organization in East Palo Alto to improve high school graduation, college enrollment, and college graduation rates for underserved students. Of College Track's high school graduates, many of whom are first-generation college students, approximately 90% attend four-year colleges, and 70% finish college in six years. Whereas the national average for first-generation college students is 24% college track has facilities in East Palo Alto, Sacramento, San Francisco, Oakland, Watts, Boyle Heights, New Orleans, Aurora, Colorado, Denver, and the Washington, D.C. area. We have a wait list of five cities where we'd like to open up centers, Powell Jobs has said. We want to keep our standards high, though, and are reluctant to grow through franchising or through dissemination of our curriculum and training. In September 2015, Powell Jobs launched a $50 million project to create high schools with new approaches to education. Called XQ, the Super School Project, the initiative aims to inspire teams of educators, students, and community leaders to create and implement new plans for high schools. Efforts include altering school schedules, curriculums and technologies in order to replace the country's century-old high school education model. Funding for XQ comes from Powell Jobs Emerson Collective. Following an initial $50 million financial contribution, XQ announced an additional contribution, awarding 10 schools $10 million each, for a total financial contribution of $100 million. The schools were chosen from approximately 700 submissions nationwide. Powell Jobs' team of advisors is led by Ruslin H. Alley. Powell Jobs is a founding member of the Climate Leadership Council. As of 2018, Powell Jobs sits on the board of directors of College Track, Conservation International, and Stanford University. She is chair of the board of directors of XQ and also sits on the chairman's advisory board of the Council on Foreign Relations. In 2014, she was ranked as the 29th most powerful woman in the world by Forbes. Her ranking rose from number 39 in 2013. Powell Jobs philanthropy has been described as of limited transparency and accountability. In fact, in 2019, Powell Jobs was named the least transparent mega-giver of 2019 by Inside Philanthropy.